Governor Gretchen Whitmer made a stop at Kids Food Basket in Grand Rapids today. The governor helped to prepare meals and talk about issues of food insecurity. 13 on your side's Josh Albertus was there for this event and he joins us now with what happened there. Josh. Well, Governor Gretchen Whitmer also using this visit to further push for funding she proposed in the state budget back in February that would provide universal breakfast and lunch to all public school students that the governor's office says will increase food security. Governor Gretchen Whitmer on Monday traveled to Kids Food Basket in Grand Rapids to discuss food insecurity among children in the state. We have partnerships with the um, incredible agriculture community in the state with our you know, grocers as well as farmers markets. I mean, our goal is to make healthy food more accessible and affordable for people. In Kent County, nationwide nonprofit Feeding America estimates 11.9% of children are food insecure. In some neighboring counties, that rate is even larger, up to almost 15% in Montcalm and almost 17% in Nuego. And so we decided not to go wider, but to go deeper and just focus in on the children in West Michigan. Because uh, that number that you just mentioned, it, it's what keeps us up at night. But it's also the number that gets us up in the morning and say, we've got to go to work because we've got work to do. And it's going to take a community of people, as Kim talked about, coming together to collaborate to deal with this, with food insecurity in West Michigan. In February, Whitmer released a $79 billion budget proposal that would include $160 million to fund a free breakfast and lunch initiative for all public school children. Legislators on Monday provided an update on budget negotiations as they hope to tackle the issue soon. We're going to dive in uh, immediately after our spring recess, which is happening right now. Uh, in fact, the chair of the subcommittee on uh, K-12 appropriations will be in town next week, uh, or I think it might be the week after. And we're seeing a very significant amount of interest in um, ensuring that this line item happens, so uh, we'll, we'll hear what he has to say. Now this year's budget discussions are still ongoing, so it's unclear what all will make it into the final state budget, with one Republican lawmaker last month even referring to the budget as a quote, smoke and mirrors proposal. Reporting from the newsroom, Josh Albertus, 13 on your side.